Mr. Bojangles. Playing in the grand finals here. We're ready to go. All right, guys. Don't know if you're aware, but we're uh, we're gonna transition into nighttime here. Yeah, we're celebrating a nice evening here at the E2C studio at the shed, sponsored by E2C in lieu of an actual sponsor. Now we've got the stage choices going into effect, and we're hopefully gonna see some action here. All right, here we go. Akira and Santo, Free Beast Bow, Scotty. We've got a Mario Luigi combo against Diddy Kong and Sheik. It looks like they're gonna stick with the Diddy Kong and Sheik. They uh, they weren't comfortable with that loss in the last uh, the first two losses in the last match. They're not gonna take any chances here. Of course, Free Beast and Bo Scotty have to win three to take it. Akira and Santo are gonna have to reset the bracket and start all over again. So they would need to win six in order to get this match going. Uh, and a quick grab back throw from uh, Bo. Uh, and a little bit of teamwork there. Juggling them in the air. The Mario brothers acting like a couple of brothers. When you're in trouble, you can get hooked on the brothers. And Akiro takes the first death. Sheik knocked off the north of the stage. Star KO. All right, we're back. We've got we're being rejoined by our good friend Hamburger Mason. Hamburger Mason, also known as uh, JT Wild Omelet, I guess. Soon. The JT Wild Unless I can convince JT to change his name. Yeah. I feel like there's too many J's in the Chicago scene. We got JJ, we got JT, we got all these things. People like, you know, the letter J. I mean, I know the good number of us, that's like our initials or the first letter of our name, but it's... People do it. That's okay. I'm thinking about a name change. Because JT's great, but it sounds too similar to other competitive players, you know. Great competitive spirit here tonight. Mario Luigi Dream Team. Are you, are you, are you referencing the RPG, or are you saying that'd be a... Oh, the matchup that's happening right now. Duh. Sorry. Yeah, Dream Team. Uh, Gun, can you hopping off? All right, Gangan will be back. I'm just going to scoot in a little bit then. All right, we have Mario and Luigi both in their Fire Flower suit. Love this. This is beautiful. I assume both Mario... Yes, both Mario Green Beast is Luigi. Or Free Beast is Luigi. This is actually a pretty dynamic team because where Mario's lacking Luigi covers and where Luigi's lacking Mario covers, which kind of makes this, the battle in 1v1 so crazy because they both... They both have such strong tools against the other person's weakness. But when you put them together, it's pretty devastating. Diddy Kong and Sheik um, just looks like a top tier team, in my opinion. I, I know Akiro, Akiro is the best Sheik that I've ever seen. I think one of the best in the entire nation. But Diddy and Sheik team up is a pretty common, pretty common team up. I love Santo here. Oh, did he just get the footstool? That's and for the state spike, Akiro, you beast. And just killed, knocked his teammate out of the game for a kill against Akiro. Green, I don't agree with that decision, but it's it gets it done. It gets it done. I think if Diddy Kong sits back and just hands Akiro some bananas, that this will be an easy match. They just need to get a gimp. Really, that's all they need right now, and it'd be super, yep. See what, it, here it is. Here it is, they just start juggling back. They get one of them gets a grab and they get right with the one guy in between and they just kapa pa pa melee stuff. I love watching Santo and Akiro team up. I don't want the wrong idea. When I say top tier team, both of these characters have very few weaknesses and they don't necessarily complement each other in any way, shape, or form. They're just both very strong characters on their own and when together that's what's what gives them their edge. They're both just extremely strong. I love Akiro. That's what um, he was doing in triples earlier where anytime somebody we grabbed or even we would, Akiro and I set it up to where we needle into my up smash, he just is very good at doubles about saying, oh, you, you're a grab thirsty character? I'm going to have my needles ready to prevent my uh, buddy from getting hit with that stuff. Here we go. That's it. Hoo-ha. Or should I say sheik -ha? Because that's what that was. 
Beautiful place, beautiful place. I, Tony, Galloping Ghost Arcade. I'm going tomorrow. It sounds great. Sounds absolutely fantastic. Are you going to be playing in uh, Smash 4, I, Tony? Or are you just going to be playing Melee? I know that we're going to... Galloping Ghost is having doubles tomorrow. That's going to be... That's going to be hype. I'm going to I'm gonna talk to Bo about that. I'm commentating right now. Peach and Almar, a completely different... Yeah, here we go. Almar and Peach are where Bo and Green Beast just... This is where they love to be. This is their... Their, their home. That's what Bo and uh, Green Beast have told me, is that that is their... That's their home where they like to be. Both characters are very... <laughs> characters are very perfect in this. Green more back throws in 2v1. I tell you, new Smash for singles sounds good. Are you gonna be doing doubles? No, I'm loving this matchup. Love this. Oh, Bo's sitting there hoping for some sort of a gimp. And the forward air, extreme. I know people talk about how all these other characters have insane kill potential, but I think Peach. Peach, I think. She's underrated in this game because she really can just wipe you out clean. I'm not just saying that because um, Bulls Peach beat me um, a couple of weeks ago with this Peach, but I mean, Peach really just has some outstanding aerials in this game. I know she always has high kill potential, but in this game it really shines. It really does. I feel like she's a little underplayed, but Bo's there to rep in the Peach. He actually bought Peach for the auction earlier today. Hoo-ha kill. Beautiful kill by Santo. Looks like it's completely even. Both characters that have three stocks um, are at kill percentage, so this is could go either way. Yep, Bo and, Bo and Green Beast just know each other so well and just know this team up so well. Akiro just spacing up. Yep, banana placement with needles. Just all about stage control and all about keeping the enemy away. And then Diddy Kong will jump up in case there's any if there's any aerial approach, he'll just throw out one of his insanely fast aerials. Good coverage of every single option that I can think of. Until we get a character that can dig under the stage, I think that is one of the best things I've ever seen. Okay, if they can just kill Green Beast, or even Bo at this one, because now both of them are can kill percentage. This is even. This is even, ladies and gentlemen. I can't see if, if Diddy Kong still has all has two stocks? I believe he does. Go Bo Scotty. Yeah, good. Got a shout out from Smash Bros. 29. This is no surprise to me that these were the guys that... <laughs> no surprise at all to me that these were the guys that made it to Grand Finals of Doubles. These are all stellar, stellar players. Yeah. Ah, the double kill. Double kill. Good stuff. They still have not taken that stock off of, off of Green. They need to get that done because he is just stock tanking right now. It's putting them at a severe disadvantage, not being able to get rid of that stock. Yeah, Pakiro identifying that and just going in. But she doesn't have any kills out of the grab. She really, at that percentage, she really doesn't. Which I think is the thing that separates her as a top tier from most, is that almost every other top tier has some sort of kill set up out of Smash Bros. I don't know how many stocks he is. This is some bizarre setup that they have right now. Um, I can't tell, you can't tell, I guess you're just gonna have to... We're just gonna have to guess. I think he has two, I have not seen Diddy Kong die twice. Okay, uh, Olimar's loadout is, was two purples and, and a blue. He wants that blue. He wants to get a kill off of... I can already tell he's going to want to get a grab off of Diddy Kong and just... Or that... Do that up smash. Let's see. Is he out? Nope. He had two stocks. He had two stocks. This is a game, ladies and gentlemen. If they can get rid of Bo, Scotty, they can... This will be even. Then Akiro is at... Is at a higher percentage. And Akiro is gone. That's disappointing. I don't know if Santos Diddy... Can, I would say Diddy himself played at the maximum, has the potential to be able to do something like this, but I've not... Oh, and just like that, that's going to be death. Galloping Ghost Arcade, one out of two. 
Um, no, that was too stuck. That would be game two. Game, game two. two. Game and two. Who took the first one? I. It's one to one, I believe. One to one. All right. Check that for me. Uh, no, one to two. God, what a two. Hey, let me ask. Let me ask real quick. Hey guys, what game is it? Game three, one to one, right? <laughs> yeah, one to one. That's what I thought. Yeah. Uptown funk you up, I believe is what he was saying. We're getting this moving. They're doing their stage selections. One to one. Ooh. Gameless Pokemon League. Omega. Or is it regular? Nice. I don't know why they would pick this stage, to be honest. Why wouldn't they just go with regular FD? They might like the platforms on the side, decoration, any number of reasons. The only thing I can see is that you cannot wall jump off the sides, but Akira and Santo have not done that at all. I don't really foresee either one of them trying to do that. Akira going Diddy, ha. No. No, 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 no. No, Akira is playing Sheik. Santo is going Diddy, and I don't think Akira knows how to play Diddy. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna guarantee that because I... I don't. I know Akira plays Lucina and Sheik. Those are the two characters I've seen uh, him play as. Akira does. Yeah, Akira does not play Diddy. Okay, I've right. never seen a Diddy. He he's working on his Link. He's working on his Zelda. He plays Sheik. Ooh, yeah, almost. Not enough. Not enough to get it. Yeah, well, making an announcement. I think they're just going to talk about Mario Kart 8. Thank you for keeping us honest, Patriot. What's happening? It's 2v2 Grand Finals, not Losers Finals. Got it. Thank you. We are sorry for this late announcement. Tomorrow we will still be at a stadium sports club. It will be in a different location. Be in this place. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Day, oh, another beautiful kill. These players are just throwing out all of their apples. Throwing out all the apples right now. Russell and the Jimmies are throwing out them apples. How do you like them apples? Exactly. That's what. Yeah. Pretty much. He's like, I'm, I'm being thrown off by the announcer. And that's another side. Patrick Echo. Uh, Patrick Echo. And that's going to be Santa. Oh, nope. Didn't have enough. Didn't have enough, enough charged up. I. That is such a weird recovery because you're almost fighting. You're like playing chicken with yourself. How far right. am I going to run the abyss to try and get back? I mean, it's. it's that is one. Uh, that is probably the one thing that is Diddy Kong's weakness is that rocket barrel pack. Well, it really is. If, if he Ooh. did not have it, and that's a spike. Okay, okay, Bo. Oh, okay, Green. He gonna give it to you. They're just you going ham. They're gonna just give going it to you. ham right now. Yeah, got Olimar. Just going. Ham. They're gonna go for this. They want this second win. Going. They don't want to reset the bracket. No, they don't. They want to win three matches and be done. Go home, take some money. Yep. Well, and then get ready for the 1v1s, which we've got next. Which is going to be thrilling. This will be the most exciting night. The most exciting Sunday, March 28th, 2015, you're ever going to have. Remember that, folks. This is the most exciting March 28th that will ever exist in the year 2015. On today's day. Yes, sir. Okay. I... All right. I don't know what to say about this right now. I think I, I think I know what to say. Awesome. Let's say awesome. We've got some awesome stuff here going like, on. Green Bay has no problem just going and just making his wall and letting Bo just go in and just... I love that Ooh. dynamic. That <laughs> smash. <laughs> Throwing those Pikmin. And that is a hero stock. And I, look at what we're at again. They've been targeting a hero. Yeah. Because they know that... They, they feel strong enough to be able to take on right. Santo playing his ditty. I don't know. I think we've I, seen Akira doing a job in a 2v1 situation, and that's that game. Number two goes to Free Beast and Bo Scotty. Beautiful. If they, they win one more, this is the doubles tournament, folks. That's right. I unfortunately had to face Bo Scotty in the, uh, in the pools. Really? 
How'd that so, go? Uh, I didn't make it out of pools. <laughs> <laughs> I never want. I never make. I want to make it out of pools. One of these days, I'm gonna make it out of pools. Do you want to see me? You want tell people. Tell the people. Do you want to see me come out of pools? Next you time, gotta start breaking some legs so that the good people don't show up. Next time, bring your floaties. That's how you get out of a pool. Uh, that's true. <laughs> pool party. It's almost getting to that time of the year. Oh, they're going. Oh, right they're into going this. halberd. Halberd. Santa. Oh, they're going double ditty. What? No way. No I've never way. Never seen it. I've never seen I've the never Kiro Diddy. I've never seen a Kiro Diddy. They do not want to lose. They're pulling out anything that they've got. This is gonna be hilarious. We're just gonna see up air spam. Just nothing but up airs. Wow. Also, we need a Mario Kart 8 setup. Does anyone have a Mario Kart 8 setup? So, I recommend that everyone get a pack of Oreos, and every time you see Diddy Kong eat an Oreo, and then tell me when you get diabetes. Shouldn't be too long. When I get diabetes? When from every time you see a hoo ha after oh, eating yeah. an Oreo each time. Yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> that'll happen when you're playing Diddy Kong. <laughs> Everyone mains Diddy. But <laughs> don't main Diddy, you do now. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's true, doing whatever they can. Even if you don't think you main Diddy, you actually main Diddy. Once you've seen once you've seen the basic meta for Diddy Kong, you know how to play Diddy Kong. There really isn't a whole lot more than what you've seen from every single Diddy Kong. It just comes down to the player reading and whatnot. I feel like Diddy Kong isn't limited, but has a set amount of things he can do that, but because they work, people find him to be really, really devastating. When, and actually, he's pretty limited in my opinion. If, because he's very close range. He has fast aerials and he's very close range and he has, you know, the banana. But he doesn't have any effective zoning tools other than the banana, which can be easily picked up or destroyed. Yeah. Or reflected if you play Fox, Mario, or Palutena. Or any other reflecting character that I can't think of. Uh, Falco. A any others. Just an overall strong character, so. Yeah, just strong, you know. but. I remember um, JJ and I. Or JJ and Akira talking. Akira to told me about it, about how. Ooh! Ooh! That was beautiful. A little Santo! Destroyed by the beam! Destroyed by the beam! What was you about to say about JJ? Beam there, done that. Uh, they were talking about how he would get caught into a set rhythm with Diddy Kong because it usually works, but then when he goes against somebody who's used to all that, it, it would kind of throw him off a little bit because it's very rhythmic to play Diddy Kong. He's got a set amount of things, you see an opening, you do it, you do the thing, you get the kill, done. But if somebody knows how to escape out of it, or just generally has your number, if you're playing Diddy Kong, you'll just start to... I don't know, I don't... Akira and Jay were talking about Diddy is overrated in my opinion. That's a very yeah. popular uh, he, he's he's he's, strong, he's a little he's overrated not, in my he's opinion. Not like Brawl. He's, he's, he's overrated. Don't get me wrong, he's obviously a top S tier character in this game, but I don't think because of his recovery being blatantly a weakness. Ooh. Oh my they knocked Peach is out. out. Oh god, they might Ooh -ha. That's, uh, I think it's all up to it's all Oreo up to, count uh, I think is about a twelve right now. So that's it's all up to Free Beast here. I think that's a row of a family pack and then two. Can you do it? Can Free Beast do it? Oh my gosh, look at these peanuts. Look at the peanuts. They're just, they're just peanut and they're just they're trying just to kill peanuts. the they're just trying to kill the They're just right doing now. the same thing. Doing the same because you know why? Because you're playing the same character and it works. That's why. This is gross. This is this, this is, is dirty. why when top tiers are doubled up, you're just it's just silly to watch. It's like, oh, it's so we're both just gonna grab an up air and oh there's a peanut. There's a peanut. Nice uh, little up air there. Actually, now in it ended up. Unfortunately, that two. was game four. I and game of, four I goes sort of to I agree and Santo. With a dirty match. A dirty match. I think we can <laughs> both agree on that. We don't want to see uh, uh, double ditties. Well, oh. we want to see winning, though. Well, you and could say the same thing about how Storm beat me last month, but at the end of the day, we're all here to win. You Diddy just got to take it. You Diddy just got to take it. If somebody help. wins in a jank way, they won. Blue team taking it, Blue team taking it to a game Pizza four shoot. now. Please do. I like. What you, I think that Rosen possibly we Mario are going to got. harder to deal yeah. with than Diddy. I do not agree with Mario, but I do agree definitely with Luigi and Rosen because the Mario's combo game, almost no part of it is guaranteed, and the up tilts are not a true combo anymore. You, if you know the timing, you can jump out of it. It is the thing. It's 
it's kind of like how certain characters have an advantage um, against the foxes up till, I mean, uh, not up till, uh, Jab Infinite. Some characters can escape out of it, and there's a separate metagame that develops in that specific matchup. Hmm. So, like, when, when me and Slow Joe face off, for example, he's playing Fox, I'm playing Mario, he's got me in the infinite, but he knows that at any given instant I could break out. I know that. So mm -hmm. it's, there's a whole different intensity. Like Mario, you can break out of, I would, all of, almost all of his combos, depending on your character, you can likely break out of if you know how to get out of it. But, how do you break out of the Mario combo? Um, for the down throw to up tilt, there's a time you can jump out of it, unless you're Captain Falcon at 17%. <laughs> or Ganondorf at 12%. Then you can't jump out. But then again, both of those characters rack up so damage, so much damage in the f either in Falcon's combo string or in oh, oh my wow, gosh. great combo there. They took wow, that was an explosion. Oh, and it is now a uh, six to four stock. I don't know right, who, in okay. terms of tier. All right, Genkin's head now. I don't really know who would be top three on the tier list to be. I mean, everybody thinks Diddy and Rosalina and Sheik, but I mean, I don't, I have a hard time differentiating the three because all three of them have just, I feel like Sheik, in terms of, if we were to go off kill potential, I would say Diddy Kong and Rosalina are tight because Sh and Sheik is under them. But then if you say a matter of speed, then Diddy Kong and Sheik are tied because they both have extremely fast aerials that pretty much all auto cancel. And then if you say recovery, I would say Rosalina and Sheik are tied, but Diddy Kong, they, it's a triangle of, you know, oh, they're all really good characters, but they all have something above the other character. You know, there's like, there's pairs in that, tri in that triangle. So I don't know how I feel who would be where. They're all very good characters. They really are. Sheik has outstanding recovery and, and speed, but then struggles to get some kills at, at certain moments. Diddy Kong has extreme combo potential, fast aerials, and kill potential, but then can struggle to recover. And then, oh, the spike. And then, for Rosalina, she has she has a really strong recovery and really strong um, air. Who is first? I'm, I'm talking about it right now. I, I, I have no idea. There's just a triangle of three really good characters everyone can agree is probably the best in the game, but they all have their own strengths and weaknesses that kind of cancel out other spec parts of this stuff. Oh. And that is it. Bo, Scotty, and Green Beast take doubles. They they have returned to their throne of the Chicagoland doubles, oh, ladies and I gentlemen. I missed it. I missed it. They won, huh? They won. Yeah. yeah they they, won. Again, they took out a hero and then just played with Santos' heart. Oh. Just, yep. Sharing a little fist bump here. They're happy with their performance. They know they did well.